Let's make oyster sauce. Yo, we're going down to the world-renowned Sydney fish market to pick up some oysters. Seventeen dollars fifty. Okay, thank you very much. We made it here to the Sydney Fish Market. Okay. We just got to sign in because, uh, yeah. <laughs> We have to have our mask on inside here, but we're here to check out the oysters. We're gonna grab some oysters for our oyster sauce, and we'll probably grab some lunch. <laughs> So we got the we got the Sydney Rock Oyster. We got the Pacific Oyster. We order two lobster rolls, um, one eel and a udon, and three of the blue shell. Uh, sorry, but we ran out of the sea urchin. So oh. We will order the. Yeah, that, that's okay. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> We've got two types of oysters here today. Um, we've got the Sydney Rock Oyster and we've got the Coffin Bay Oyster. And we're going to decide which one we're going to use for our oyster sauce. So let's try this one first. This is the Sydney Rock Oyster. This one is a little bit creamier than the Coffin Bay. This one's not very salty, so we use this to make our oyster sauce. We're gonna have to add a lot of salt. This one's the Coffin Bay. A little bit of lemon. Mm. We'll use the Sydney Rock Oyster. I can adjust the flavor more. This one's a little bit too salty for oyster sauce. The grilled eel. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm, it's so good. Mmm, love it. Alright, yeah. let's try the lobster roll. Sydney rock oysters and the dried oysters and we're ready to make some oyster sauce. Now we transfer the oysters onto our chopping board. Let's chop them up. Pick it all up and pop it onto your wok. Now we turn on the fire. 
Pop it onto low heat. Cook the oysters for about 10 minutes. Now all the liquid's extracted from the oyster. We strain it. And keep all the juice. Put our pot on low heat. Two slices of ginger. A touch of oil. Dried mushrooms. One cup of water. One tablespoon of dark soy sauce. Four tablespoons of light soy sauce. Half tablespoon of 621. One tablespoon of sugar. Dried oysters. Add our oyster juice. Give it a stir. Add another cup of water. After 20 minutes, turn off the heat. The sauce is strained, put it back into the pot. Turn it onto high heat. Once it's simmering, add your potato starch and stir. And that's how you make oyster sauce. In a fresh bottle. Once it's bottled, it can be refrigerated and ready to use. You can use this oyster sauce for stir fries or just a simple Gailan and oyster sauce.